Let's have another look at the seven types of waste. Overproduction. The waffles were not delivered to the customers, the children, at the right time. The children did not eat a single waffle, which means that all of the waffles are overproduction. Superfluous movements. Our father travels many meters as he gets ingredients from various cupboards. The arrangement of the work surfaces and the ingredients generates waste in the form of superfluous movements. A possible solution here would be to optimize the sequence of gathering the ingredients. Maybe the arrangement of the ingredients could be improved as well. Waiting times. On several occasions we saw that the father waited for a machine process to finish. The machine time should always be based on the worker, not the other way around. The first example, the father waits for the mixer to finish mixing the batter. Then he waits for the waffle iron to heat. While the waffle is baking, the father waits and does not use the time profitably. Some waiting times, such as the last example, cannot be avoided, but they can be used to add value. For example, the father could do the dishes. Transports. In this film, a tool, the mixer, and not the product is transported. Moving the mixer is unnecessary transport. To prevent this, the processes must be optimally coordinated. The mixer, for instance, should stand at the location where it is also used. Process over fulfillment. As the father waits for the waffle to be done, he presses on the lid of the waffle iron. This over fulfills the process. The father's activity in no way speeds up the baking time. Another example of process over fulfillment would be stirring batter that has been blended enough. Stocks. The many bowls in the kitchen cupboard make finding the right one difficult and time intensive. Stocks that are adapted to demand increase transparency and reduce costs of capital. Excessive stocks are often generated to compensate for a problem in another area. They provide a false feeling of security. Often increased stocks cause overproduction. In our example, too much batter leads to overproduction of waffles. Faults. Faults often result from a lack of information. In our example, the father only greases the waffle iron after defective production, the torn waffle. He finds the source of the fault after consulting the recipe again. To permanently avoid faults, the cause must be identified and eliminated. There are many more waste sources in addition to these examples. Let's watch the father make waffles a second time without the waste we have identified so far. We can see that more waste can be identified and eliminated.